Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Mix. I don't know if you've encountered this, but many times when I attend a LARP, I'll see people with these great books, these immersive tomes, uh, these elaborate uh, spell scrolls, and just these diaries or journals or whatever you want to call them. Um, if you haven't seen these, I show you how to make one in one of my videos. You can uh, check it out. But um, they just have these awesome books, but then they're going to pull out just a big pen or a Sharpie or a yellow pencil to write in it. And you're like at the finish line, but you're not crossing the finish line if you do something like that. You're so immersed, everything is so immersive, and then that one thing just throws it all completely um, out of you know alignment. So don't be that person. I'm gonna show you how to very easily make an immersive writing implement. Now, if you're playing a cyberpunk or dystopian or post-apocalyptic game, it doesn't matter. You can use a big pen or a sharpie or a pencil, but I mean, I guess you could also use this writing implement too, although this, what I'm going to show you how to make is more for a medieval fantasy game. Yes, it's not historically accurate, but if you're playing a fantasy type game, this will work perfect for you. Be great for writing down in your journal or diaries, and we're gonna make it basically uh, completely from scratch. Now, this is one of my little bit more complicated builds because it requires having a drill or something to drill with. Um, you're going to have to have pencil lead, some glue, and uh, something sharp uh, to cut with. But it's gonna be very easy to do. It will show you how to do it here in a second, and it will let you create an immersive medieval fantasy writing implement to go with that great book or that great spell scroll that you have. And I hope that you enjoy this project. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. You, yes, you can buy these just online. Many of the projects we make on my channel, you can just buy online somewhere on Etsy. But why pay someone 40 or 50 dollars for something that you can make yourself for 40 or 50 cents and that is the essence of my channel let's get out there and make ourselves a twig pencil so the first thing you want to do is find yourself some sticks uh, hardwood would be best but whatever sticks you can find you want to find ones that are nice and straight and about the size of a writing implement or you know however long you'd like it to be step two is going to be take this stick and a saw and cut it to whatever size you've deemed necessary. Um, like I said, try to go with a normal sized pencil or maybe a little bit bigger than what you would consider a writing implement to me, maybe like Sharpie sized. And then you're just going to cut that. Once you have that cut, you can leave the bark on or you can peel it all off. Um, eventually it's probably gonna come off anyways, but like I said, depending on the wood you use, results will vary. So the hardest part of this is going to be finding this graphite two millimeter and a drill bit that is also two millimeter. You can experiment with this if you want to. You can use drill bits you already have. You can break an old colored pencil down or uh, you can rip a pen apart and take the inside of the pen and you can drill a hole into the stick with it, which is what we're going to do. But basically you're going to need a long drill bit, one that's long enough to cover the length of the graphite or whatever you're putting in there. Um, all of this stuff can certainly be found online. This is two millimeter graphite, two millimeter drill bit. Um, you'll just have to pay for it one time. Now this is a ton of graphite in here. So I'll be able to make tons, a lifetime worth of these pencils. Now if I wanted to make some to resell or as gifts, or even if I wanted to just take this stuff to the game and make it at the game, you know, as part of a workshop or something like that, you can do that. But get yourself the drill bit, get yourself the graphite, and the next step, if it's not already self-explanatory, we're going to drill into the stick and glue this graphite inside. Pretty simple stuff, but let's go ahead and show how it's done. What I'm going to do now is just mark the drill bit with how deep we need to go. So it looks like it goes to this line right here. And I'm just going to mark that with a black marker. Once you have this all marked up, now you'll know where to stop when you're drilling. But like I said, you can also put tape around this as well if it's hard for you to see where I colored this in. Or you could color it or paint it a different color. I don't have any tape today, so I just use the marker to mark it. Once you get a stick you want to use, you're going to want to go ahead and mark the center of it. And then use a screw or a nail to sort of make a little divot in there. So that would be your starting point for your drill bit. It's very important that you mark that starting point because that'll allow you to get your drill bit into the hole and going straight. Um, if you have a vise, I suggest putting in there. If you have a drill press, even better. If you're using a hand drill like this, 
just be very careful. I would not suggest holding this with your hand as the drill bit can come through and go into your hand. So find something to brace this up with. But once you get it in and you have your center point marked, from there it's just a matter of drilling. So if all went well, now you have a stick with a hole in it that you can put your graphite into. If it doesn't fit, you may need to go back and drill a little bit. So this obviously needs a little bit more drilling in here because this is not going through for some reason. So now you have a hole in your stick. You can slide your graphite inside, but we need to glue this inside. So. I'm just going to use PVA glue, but you can use wood glue if you have it. I would recommend the wood glue, but we can go ahead and just use this PVA glue we have laying around. And that's just a simple matter of getting some on here. And then we're just going to slide it down inside the hole that we created. Very simple stuff. This way it'll be anchored in there. If it doesn't slide in easily, you can try pushing on with a little bit of pressure to get it the rest of the way in. There you go, now if you did this right, you have your lead all the way up in there, and now it's a matter of sharpening it. So this is glued in here, now we just gotta sharpen it with a knife. This is the dangerous part. If you have a sander, that would work well also, but you can just use a knife to sharpen it now. Let's go ahead and do that. If you're able to follow those instructions, then you now have a medieval fantasy writing implement. Obviously, when working with power tools or anything sharp, be safe. Safety is the number one concern. Wear the proper protective gear. And this channel is really just meant for entertainment value anyway. So um, always be mindful if you're undertaking anything that you see on here. Um, it's not recommended. But let's take a closer look at this medieval fantasy writing implement here. So you can see this is the stick that we found. And then we got our graphite inside and sharpened down and uh, that's pretty much it. And I think that writing in a game with this looks an awful lot better than that. So don't go 99% of the way, get rid of this stuff, okay? Anything modern. When you're in a game, have something like this. Now you know how to make them, very easy to make. You can make these in mass. If I was going to do this again, I would pick uh, sticks that are smaller or I would find a larger pencil sharpener, something that's electric preferably, then that way I could just stick these in a pencil sharpener and sharpen them and that would really take the whole um, you know, danger of sharpening this by hand out of the equation. If you have a uh, grinding wheel or if you have a disc sander or something, you could just sand this down and that would be great. The only problem is, is when you're actually at a game and you have to sharpen it, you're going to need to have something sharp to do that with. If you had a little mechanical pencil sharpener, you can sort of do that you know, when no one's looking or in the restroom or something to get the point back on. Because this point is a pencil, it's gonna wear down fast. If you drilled a little bit bigger hole and stuck a pen down inside there, then obviously that's going to last a lot longer and that might be something you may want to try tackling on your own. A uh, pen's gonna be a little bit bigger than two millimeters, probably gonna be maybe three millimeter, three and a half millimeter, so you have to get a little bit bigger drill bit, maybe do a little bit of research. But for a pencil, this is where it's at. And let me show you here that it does in fact write. Let's see. Don't forget to click that like button also. But very cool, very immersive. And now, whenever you're at game and you whip out your incredibly immersive spell book and you decide you want to write down something in it, hmm, let's see. Dear Journal, it looks an awful lot better than doing it with a yellow pencil. And um, that's what this entire video is about, is just keeping the immersion, very simple project to make. If you decide to make these at quantity and sell them, <laughs> don't forget little old me, come on back, buy some merchandise. 
um, make a little donation through Ko-Fi or Patreon to the channel. But um, you know, these are definitely something you can make a bunch of, give them out at a game, carry them on you, maybe uh, sell them at a game or whatever you want to do. But super easy to make. Once you bought the drill bit and you have the graphite, I mean, you can make a hundred more than a hundred of these easily and it all just comes from sticks you find in your yard i mean ethically sourced we took them off of a fallen tree we didn't break off fresh branches like i said a hardwood's going to work best and last longer but as you sharpen this over time um, these are a uh, finite resource so once you get down to about here where that graphite runs out then this is shot you're gonna have to make a brand new one anyways but now you know how to make them and uh, I hope to see some of these at LARPs this year um, some of you you know you can just buy these places um, but if you're buying them they're expensive if you're making them like this they're very inexpensive the video that you just watched was longer than what it took me to make this the actual process of finding this stick marking it center punching it drawing a hole in it gluing the graphite in and sharpening it was probably i don't even know two minutes if i had a sharpener or a sanding wheel or something then this probably could have been cut down to maybe making one of these every minute every minute and a half so if you had an hour you could make enough probably for your entire larp group your entire tabletop gaming group or whatever you want to use these for but i hope you found this video useful um i know i love it and this is something i've been wanting to show how to make for a while ever since i first saw these uh, a long time ago when i was a kid they have different names um that are somewhat degrading like uh you know hillbilly you know pencil and stuff like that so we won't talk about that too much but um these definitely exist in the wild, but now you can make them yourself, and I hope that it helped you. If it did, please like, subscribe to the channel. Let everyone you know know that I'm here making this awesome content to help make your games and your LARP experience better. And of course, as always, adventure on. And this really is cool. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, seriously, I saw these when I was a kid a long time ago, and um, I always thought, well, heck, anybody could make that so hats off to whoever first came up with this idea um, it's basically just like a carpenter's pencil and if you didn't have the time or ability to do this you could always buy a carpenter's pencil they're very cheap you can find them at big box home improvement stores probably even places like Walmart they're gonna be rectangular in shape and they have a rectangular um, graphite inside and you basically sharpen them you know with a knife anyways if you're a carpenter obviously you know exactly what i'm talking about what you can do is you guys get one of those and just sand all the paint off of it okay and then it would just be wood you could maybe hit that with like a light wood stain or something um and then that might work for you as well if you're unable to produce something like this because i know you have to have a power drill and saw and stuff like that but a carpenter's pencil could work as well uh, and be a lot easier to do um, something like this you could also whittle something on the end if you're any good with woodworking you could dress this up make it as elaborate as you want you can stick stuff on the end of it however you want this to be make it your own and um, hopefully it lasts you for a long time if you do make one I'd be curious to see how long they do last I'm gonna see how long this one lasts me um, and like I said if you have any comments I'd be interested to hear them below